Hey guys, today I'll be showing the process of setting up this new P1S for my 3D print farm. I just took the P1S out of the box. Uh, still has all the filament and all that, but um, here's the P1S, now out. I just took the top glass off, and then I have to remove the foam, the box, the AMS, and then the screws holding the AMS, and all that stuff. So, I'll switch over to that next. A tip I can give is when taking off this plastic off of the front glass, there's this adhesive that's attached when it's folded like this. And so you don't want to pull it out when the adhesive is basically facing outwards because what happened last time is I dragged it out and all of this adhesive dragged on the back of the glass. And so it was a pain having to scrape off all the adhesive. So what I'm gonna do this time is fold it like this so that the adhesive basically sticks to this other um, film and so that it slides out without getting all the adhesive on this glass piece. Nowadays, these old Prusas just serve for holding your new Bamboo Lab equipment. Here I'm removing the screws from the AMS tray that is used for transport. The AMS is out now. Now I just have to take off the screws where you see those red markers. And then this plastic plate will come off. But this plastic piece is off now. This is basically just to help the AMS stay in place uh, during shipment. But um, there's no real purpose to this after that. It's such a weird shape. So everything is out now. It's just these foams. These will come off once the bed rises and I connect the printer and all that. And so um, the only other thing I noticed here, which I was expecting, was that the AMS was going to be a tight fit. And it does hit the top here, the, the little knob right there. And the reason why I... This would work. I could fit a spool in here. But the reason why I'm probably going to have to either lower this... Um, the shelf or bring this one up just a little bit more um, is because these spools when they're low I leave it open so that they can jump um, and not have to hit this top barrier over here because sometimes um, since they're so low this drags it so hard that it like pulls it up and does all sorts of things and so I notice more failures when it's low and this thing is closed than when I do uh, having the same spool and this being open. I wired it and connected it here to the smart switch which the Mark III used to have. So the Mark III is now just hanging because I don't even use it anyway. So now it's time to power it up. I still need to connect this LCD screen and then hit the switch on the back. This is the P1P and P1S screen. Uh, obviously the X1T one is better, but I use the mobile software anyways. So. I really only use this to just turn the light on and off and sometimes adjust the temperature, but that's really it. So I move the AMS here to the side. I think I'm just going to keep it here until I get another printer. Um, then I'll adjust the shelves and all that, but that's a problem for another day. I'm going to fire it up right now and hope everything goes well. So it's doing the self-test now. I can take some of the foam off. And so I'm pretty sure it's going to do the the one where it shakes a lot and gets an adjustment for how how much this desk will actually shake so it'll adjust so that it could basically cancel out the uh, vibration lights are all flickering it's doing the firmware update and i'll talk about these spools that came with the printer so this one is support for pla and then you get two pla basics uh, this one is a green, and then this one is orange. This is the same three I got when I bought my P1S about three months ago. 
And so it looks like they're still doing the same thing. And then um, for the P1P, I, I got a full spool of green, but looks like they're doing samples now. Uh, but at least you get two colors. You get orange, green, and then I don't think I'll ever use this one as a port for PLA. But yeah, at least they include some filament. Just put it up here with the other freebies I got from my last P1S order. I've never actually seen this screen before. Not sure if there's something wrong with it. Just finished the update. Maybe I need to do something. Maybe I, I just missed. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's still updating. It's a loading bar. Who knows? Something weird just happened. Uh, bed looked like it crashed into the nozzle because on the app it was telling me if I want to do a self-leveling test. Uh, screen is still messed up. Not sure what's going on here. This didn't happen last time. It's still on the screen. So I'm gonna just turn it off, turn it back on. I'm sure it'll work. It's just maybe a bug. Yep, turn back on. So, let's see. Yep. So everything looks good. I'm sure it was just a bug. One thing I did notice is that all the components inside are like an orange, but on my P1P and P1S over here, they have yellow gears. I'm not sure if they changed the material type or maybe just the color, but yeah, just something I noticed. First spool going in. And then I'm gonna coat this bed with some isopropyl alcohol just to clean it off and then I'm gonna do the scraper print. Now I'm gonna coat it with the isopropyl alcohol. And then use a microfiber cloth to rub it. <laughs> 10 minute print for a scraper. So I connected to a smart switch so that when I got the notification that the print was done and at the same time don't have anyone at home to scrape the bed off and remove the print, I could just turn it off with the app and that way I save some energy. I know it's not a lot of energy being wasted, just idling, but it's good to just turn it off and also for safety. It's on this first layer. it up I just want to do a quick video on how I set up this P1S. Now I got three Bamboo Lab printers, fast printers with the slow printers. Made sure to separate the slow ones from the fast ones over here. But yeah, I'll try to get that Mark III sold, this one right here. And I'll probably keep this one just because it does one thing only for my products. So yeah, this one, this one gets a pass. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.